think of a dove? They're very beautiful, just not as beautiful as love. Love is very strong. It is something that you can never get wrong. Women give up their last name, but marriage is something so great that they cannot take the blame. You swear on your hearts to love each other for long, but at the end of the day, it's as easy as singing a song. Dan, I want to thank you for your commitment and love to Paula over the last few years and for all the effort you've put in to be a part of our family, especially all the time that you've spent with me making fun of Paula. I appreciate that. So I know you're a great addition to the family and I wish you both the very best in your years ahead in marriage. So congratulations to you two on this very special day and I cannot wait to spend more time with the new Mr. and Mrs. Wilding. We gather before God, and it is God who created marriage. He created this beautiful thing for our benefit, something that we can enjoy and participate in as followers of Jesus. And ultimately, when we talk about marriage, Jesus is the center. He's the one that we look to when we talk subjects of selflessness, of trust, of service, and of mission. The truth of this thing is you can't do this marriage thing alone. It's incredibly challenging at times. It can be a really uh, difficult journey, a very life-giving one. And I want to encourage you to invite Jesus into your marriage daily, to spend time praying together daily, to spend time serving church together, to spend time together incorporating Jesus into your marriage. Today, I give myself to you in marriage, for I will be your wife and you will be my husband. From this day on, I vow to love you unconditionally and commit to you wholeheartedly for as long as we both shall live. I vow to stand behind you in support and stand beside you in battle. I vow to continually seek to make you happy. I vow to honor, encourage, and support you as we seek the Lord together. I vow to take delight in you and serve you with joy. I vow to challenge you to uphold the righteous calling God has for you. I vow to laugh with you and cry with you. I vow to bear your burdens and rejoice in your happiness. I vow to remain yours in plenty and in want, in sickness and in health, in failure and in triumph. I promise from this day forward that you will not walk alone. Today I give myself to you and tomorrow I will do it again. Paula, from the moment I met you I knew you were special. Over the past two years, you have changed my world. You have challenged me and made me strive to be a better man of God and a better partner. And I know you will push me to be a better husband in the years ahead. I promise to love you. I promise to cherish you. I promise to hold you tight and never let you go. I promise to serve you wholeheartedly and to care for you in sickness and in health. I promise to stand by your side through our worst moments and our best ones. I promise to challenge you and keep you on your toes. I promise to be fun and make you laugh. 
I promise to take responsibility and to be forgiving. And I promise to serve God with you and be your anchor. I promise to love you like Christ loved us. And I promise to always put you first. Paula, you are the light of my life. I can't wait to do forever with you. I love you. Paula, it's hard to put into words just how excited and grateful I am to welcome you to balance out some of the testosterone in this family. <laughs> We've been praying for you for years. Uh, you are beautiful inside and out and exhibit both strength and grace. And we welcome you wholeheartedly to our family. Know that we are here to support you both and cheer you on in whatever and wherever God leads you. Dan, you were one of the first people to have my back. You not only strive to make me a better person, but you call out things in me I need to change. You were always there when I need a shoulder to cry on, and I swear you're 10 times wiser when I need advice. It's in those moments that I know nothing will ever come between us. You're my only brother, and I wouldn't have it any other way. I love you so much, Dan. And I couldn't be happier to stand here and support you on your big day. Daniel, and you, Paula, based on your declaration of marriage in the presence of God and this community, and by the power granted to me by the province of Ontario, I now pronounce you husband and wife. What God has joined together, let us not ever separate. And so friends and family, I am with the greatest honor, I present to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Paula and Daniel Wilder. Daniel, you may now kiss your bride.